Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at our ETF scans for the coming week. This is going to be for the week of Monday, September 16th, 2013. We had a kind of a light volume day across the uh, the major ETFs on Friday. The only one that even got close to uh, typical volume was the IWM. And as, as you can see there, we've got uh, very little deviation from the opens. And we also have uh, the absence of any signals on either side but let's drill down to the uh, individual uh, ETFs and take a look at and see what they uh, have to say as far as the different sectors this tells, this t paints a little different picture where we uh, have mostly strength here indicated on the uh, on the sheet we don't have any sell indications from our scans but we definitely have a few buys uh, definitely pay attention mostly to the uh, CPS buys the OIH uh, is kind of breaking down out of a pattern so even though it has a camouflage buy signal it's going to be a little bit suspect. We did have a did have a volume bump in the XLB, uh, the Builders Index, so uh, that definitely should be uh, on the on the watch for uh, for next week. The uh, XLB has been hit pretty hard uh, going into this um, into this week, and we could be uh, poised for a little bit of a, a relief, and we might be able to profit from that. The GLD today uh, had a volume bump. And uh, had a very very strong finish, so definitely keep that on the uh, agenda for uh, Monday. DVC uh, camouflage buy signal uh, was on light volume, but uh, but nonetheless uh, we closed above uh, the open after having a pretty weak session. And the commodities uh, today came on very 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 strong in the last half hour of trade, so keep an eye on those. Uh, the bonds uh, very light volume across the board, which is uh, kind of interesting, especially since. Uh, you know, we've got a, a Fed meeting coming up, and they're talking about uh, uh, really paring back uh, uh, the quantities, quantitative easing. So keep an eye on those. They're at range low. A lot of those are in and around the zero race line, so so that could definitely be interesting. As far as the foreign names go, not too much here. The EWU had a real good volume bump, a lot of volume there. So keep an eye on that. Uh, nothing else had a volume bump or a volume deviation. Uh, to really speak of, so uh, not too much from from the uh, from the foreign stuff for next week. Definitely keep an eye on the R RSX though. Uh, that that was the one that traded the best volume uh, essentially since the uh, EWU today, and uh, did close almost one percent above the day's open. As far as the uh, specialists go, not too much here, and you can see the absence of volume. Most of these things are uh, down on volume, so definitely uh, keep that in mind. The QID and the TVT. Both had camouflage uh, buy signals, uh, so keep an eye on that for Monday. Uh, but uh, not really seeing action here today that indicates that the uh, players from the larger time frame were involved uh, this past session. Well, let's take a look at the uh, the uh, individual sector scans. All right, now here's a look at the uh, individual um, ETFs, and what we've got here is we've got the uh, we've got our market watch set up with our our bar counts on it. Uh, a couple things that are setting up here that uh, should be notable. The IYR is uh, 12 days down into the buy count on the standard seeker, and we're 13 days now down on the aggressive seeker. So that's uh, approaching a potential inflection point. The uh, VNQ is also getting really really close. Uh, we've, we're 12 days down in the Comer and also the standard seeker, and we're 13 days down already in the aggressive so definitely keep an eye on that for a reversal back to the upside next week XLB um, is kind of a stale signal but that they're both uh, indicating uh, to the downside and uh, potentially uh, another leg down after a bounce everything else is still a little bit far away the only other one is the XLU is 13 days down in the aggressive seeker so definitely keep an eye on that and see how the uh, and watch how the uh, comb, standard comber and the uh, standard seeker develop next week. Well, all right folks, as always, good luck next week. This has been Rich for Trade Site. Thanks for listening.